Today, I'll be reading a book called Where's the Party? Written by Ruth Chan. To Georgie, there was nothing better in the world than throwing a party for his friends. Parties with balloons, parties with lights, parties with cake and frosting. But more than anything, parties where everyone had a marvelous time. One morning, Georgie woke up with the best of best ideas. Today would be a perfect day to throw a party. Georgie took a deep breath. This had to be done just right. Georgie knew his friends loved cake. Georgie knew how much his belly loved cake too. And it wanted the biggest one. Georgie checked his list. He checked it again, just to be sure. Now came his favorite part. His best friend, Feta, was his go-to party pal, but Feta couldn't come. I have to make my pickles, Georgie understood. Georgie liked pickles and knew that a good pickle took time. Lester lived down the street and loved to dance to Georgie's kazoo. But Lester couldn't come either. I have to change my light bulbs. Georgie's whiskers drooped, but no light meant bumping into things. And he knew that that was no fun. Georgie was sure Ferdinand would be home. He always was. Can you come to my party tonight? My party. Are you sure? What party? I'll stay here, thanks. Yes, I'm sure. Georgie sighed. He had tried his hardest, but sometimes Ferdinand preferred to stay where he was. A party was still a party, however small, and there was still plenty of friends to ask. But Sneakers was too busy. And it looked like Rocco was already having a blast. Georgie asked and asked until he had no one left to ask. 
That sounds fun, but my ears are itchy. I'd love to, but I need to fold my socks. Sounds fantastic, but the sidewalk is on the wrong side. I can't, my shorts are too bright. Everyone had a reason for not being able to come. Georgie stopped by Feta's house again. Surely he must be done with his pickles by now. But there were no pickles and no Feta. And no more cake. Maybe it wasn't the day for a party after all. Maybe it was time to go home. It was a long walk back, but as Georgie came up to his stoop, he saw the most perfect party he'd ever seen. Surprise! It had balloons, it had lights, it even had more cake. But best of all, it had all his friends, every single one of them. The end. Again, the book was called Where's the Party? Written by Ruth Chan. The message of the day is things don't always work out the way we want them to. Sometimes they work out a lot better. I hope you enjoyed this story and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.